guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Jordana. Welcome. And today I'm going to show you products that if I would lose my entire collection, these are the products that I would repurchase and I would create a little makeup bag with them. And I think I've done this video before, but I don't truly remember my choices. So a few products might be overlapping from that one, but I guess that's an old video. So if you want to see which products I would choose if I lost my entire makeup collection and thinking not as a makeup artist but just as an everyday user and I've been thinking a lot about that since I'm going to go to the US for four months and I'm thinking to take only a small bag of makeup. I know that you'll enjoy this if you're a beginner or if you want to have a cohesive little makeup bag that has everything you need from day to night. So I'm gonna be showing you the products and I'm gonna be showing them in action because this face today, it's wearing all of them. So without further ado, don't forget to subscribe and let's go in with the video. Okay, so for primer, I didn't even choose a primer. If I had to start my makeup collection all over, I would be set with my SPF. So I didn't, I'm not even gonna show that because that's skincare, but my SPF is the Unseen Sunscreen and that I use every single day and it blurs out my pores and it acts as a primer. And since I've been using that, I've been not always applying primer to my face. I wanted to start with just the makeup base. And I love these two products. Products, you can see because they've been used and abused. The first one is the Purito Sika Clearing BB Cream and this is in the shade number 23. This you can find on YesStyle and you can use the code Jordana to get I think 10% off and they are always having sales. You can also find this on Amazon. This doesn't have any um, essential oils in it. It's fragrance free. This makes me a little bit more on the dewier side and that's why I love mixing it with this one. This I would love to have in my exact shade because these I think it's the one that makes this one as long wearing. If you don't know my skin tends to get super oily on my t-zone mostly on my nose. The rest of my face is normal but I live in a super hot humid weather. I need to put matte products on my face even if I want to make it dewier later throughout the day. So a mixture of these two is where it's at and I use a small amount. Even when you see me applying it and you see a lot of dots, those are dots but they don't have that much uh, product because I like my skin to big through. Maybe you can apply a little bit more if you want a, a little bit more coverage because I know they have coverage. Mostly this one, it has a lot of uh, coverage in my opinion for a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream. And then this one as well, it's just that I don't use this one on its own because it just doesn't match me. But you guys can build it up. I just love the way sheer foundation looks. So that would be it for foundation. Another foundation that I could recommend if you are looking for a foundation and not a tinted moisturizer, which is my taste right now, then I would go for the True Match, the regular True Match, the old fashioned one. I love that foundation. I finished bottles throughout the years and it's not as heavy as the foundation that I was going to talk about, which was the Estee Lauder Double Wear, which is, it has been a holy grail for a lifetime, I guess. And it's the one that I use on my makeup artistry kit, but it's not truly the foundation that I would be wearing right now with my tasty makeup and how I love my foundation to look for an everyday. And if I was just redoing my collection or creating a new makeup bag, I would want something that I could wear every day without feeling heavy or cakey. This is the concealer that I chose and I love the NARS Radiant Creamy. I love, in a way, the Tarte Shape Tape. But the reason why I chose this is because you get a lot more product for your money and it's similar enough to the NARS Radiant Creamy. And the shade that I would pick would be the shade Almond. This has great coverage. The bottle, like I said, is huge. It will give me the coverage that the tinted moisturizers wouldn't on days where I want or need more coverage. And for me, it works for pimples. Um, just hyperpigmentation under my eyes and here on the video I didn't show that but I applied it left it for a little while and then I blended it so that it gave me way more coverage right here so that I wouldn't have to get a color corrector 
Powder will never be a surprise. Laura Mercier Translucent. It's been my holy grail since I started purchasing high-end makeup. It's been just perfect for me. I go through these like a crazy person. I never waste it, but I go through them. Like I said, I get super oily on my T-zone and I live in a humid weather and we are still wearing masks. So this product keeps me the maddest that I can be throughout a regular day it won't keep me completely mad because no powder that exists on the earth will do so because my nose gets really really oily but this will be the best choice that I will have for my oily skin and I just adore it I love to pair it with any type of um, foundation and if you have a different skin tone than me which I'm mostly light and sometimes right now my my fake tan is fading I'm mostly light and I can be even a little bit fair. I, I'm really pale. The regular one works for me, but I carry on my kit the honey one and the deep uh, powder as well from the translucent line and I just adore those. It also blurs out my pores. If you feel that that powder leaves you looking cakey, it's because truly you are applying either way, way, way too much or your skin is drier than you think. For bronzer, I don't have this one as a single but I had to show it because I just know that this bronzer for me, if you buy the full size, it will last you for ages. I love the color range that they now have. I love a few of the shades that they have. I would love to have the new palette that they came up with with the four shades so that I can have it on my makeup artistry kit. But I love the consistency, the scent, the way it applies, the way it blends, and the way it doesn't matter how long I've been using it, I wanna keep repurchasing it throughout the years. There's nothing that quite compares to it. And it's the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I just adore this. I have it on this palette. And here you have Hula Caramel, which is beautiful when you have a, tan, a more tan skin tone. And they have a toasted one, which is even deeper, and Hula Light, which is lighter. And you can build this up and make it work. But Hula, the regular version, which is the one that I've gone through a few, Throughout the years, I adore it. I just find it to be beautiful. You can see that it blends so well on my skin. It's never overly pigmented, but it's not, it doesn't lack in the pigment section either. So it's just for me, one of those products that you don't even have to think about, that you don't have to hustle to make it look the way you want it to look. So yeah, the Hula Bronzer is just amazing for me and I would highly, highly recommend it. And I would purchase the huge size even if I was starting out a new makeup bag because bronzer it's basically my favorite product when it comes to the basics when I have to do something that it's an add-on I will go for blush but bronzer it's for me a staple whether I like it more than blush or not if that makes any sense okay so for blush I thought about a few I thought about wild honey from Becca a Chanel blush that I've had the essence one but a blush that I know that I can go to every single time over and over and I will not get tired of it's Chai by Laura Mercier I love the Laura Mercier this is called the blush color infusion I have I think every shade except for ginger which is one that I really want to get maybe now that I'm going to the US I will get it but I love all the colors but Chai is just the one that I will wear it the most and that it never fails me I just love the neutral or the new tone that it has I'm always missing matte in a way but when I have chai I truly even if they're not the same they have the same place in my collection which is a nude blush that will go with everything either a smoky eye or um, light makeup or whatever this will go with everything and it will give me a sort of bronzy but natural look to my cheeks I just adore it and it has a hint of pink to it I just think this is so so beautiful I would highly suggest if you haven't tried the Laura Mercier formula that you do so and even more so if you have tried the NARS one and you find it to be super pigmented and you don't know really how to work with it because though these two and the Becca ones are my favorite formula of blushes but these are easier to work with whether you are you go crazy with your brush or not. Like for highlighter, 
For me, it was an easy answer. I thought immediately about Champagne Pop and Opal from Becca. But then I realized that they're going out of business in about a month. So even though I have like 15 or 12 uh, Becca Shimmery Skin Perfectors, which are just beautiful on the skin and they buff beautifully, I just knew that I couldn't put them on this video. And then I thought about the Amarizi highlighter and then I knew I couldn't put it on this video because it's discontinued. Then I thought about the, um, um, what's the other one called? The, the Burberry Healthy Glow that I love so much. But every time I'm gonna link that, I basically can't find it anywhere. It's just a hassle to find. Then the Bang the Sable Palette by NARS, the one that has the three shades, that they all work for me in a way. It's so beautiful. And I love that, but limited edition. Oh my goodness. So uh, for highlighter, they're similar, the ones that I love but most of them are either going to be discontinued when Becca goes out of business or were already discontinued because they were limited edition. So the one that I thought that it was the most similar to those that I love, but that I don't use enough because I focus on those other ones that I told you, is the Natasha Denona I Need A New Glow. And this one, when I purchased it, I even recommended it to a friend that uses the Amarisi that she has sparingly because she doesn't want to run out. I told her like, you need to go get this because this is so, so similar in the way of consistency. It's not that it's a dupe. It has a consistency that will work the same. You will get a glow. I buff my face and I forgot to reapply it because after I buff, I usually remove most of my highlighter. So I have to reapply it for it to show up. But you can see me applying it in the demo and then me applying it right here on top of buffed and set makeup with um, a setting spray that I will be showing you on this video and this is just it catches the light so beautifully it doesn't enhance texture as much as highlighter will not enhance texture it comes with a ton of product and also the packaging is beautiful I just think this is one of those products that you can't go wrong with and this type of formula from Natasha Denona uh, comes in a few of the face palettes if you want to check that out in different shades but I I would highly recommend that highlighter to buff my face this is a staple it has been since I filmed the video uh, is it worth it, the travel size or not, from Hourglass. And you guys know that I don't like mentioning Hourglass because they're not inclusive when it comes to skin tones, skin colors, and I think that it's just so not 2021. And it's just so... <laughs> you have to, like, get over yourself. You have to create shades for everyone. Anyway, I'm not gonna go into it, but this is a product that I haven't found a replacement for and I, that I think that it's so, so beautiful and I know it will last me about a year or a year and a half using it every single day. So I'm hoping that they get into the bandwagon of inclusivity, but I'm talking about Hourglass and this is the Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Radiant Light. I adore, adore this powder. Radiant Light, I've used it on darker skin, a light super light skin it will darken the skin or give it a hint of color a little bit but it will work for super light skin maybe not extremely fair but yeah I just love this shade it works for everyone I have one on my makeup artist kit and I even tried the infinity one that they came up with I'm not in love with that one I will finish it eventually but if I have to just have one shade and repurchase one shade Radiant Light for me is the way to go. It will buff my makeup in a way that it will give it a hint of a glow without making me more oily than I tend to be. It just, it's perfect. I don't over apply it. I use it with a stippling brush and just buff my face in circular motions. Um, this will make my makeup game way, way better. So yeah, I would highly recommend these and get the full size, the smaller size, that's one of my most famous videos. The smaller size, crazy expensive for the amount that you get. Even if you're gonna travel, I would take the big size for sure. For brows, I'm gonna talk about a product that I didn't 
get to use on this video because I don't have it and I'm waiting to travel to the US and I'm waiting for the Ulta 21 days of beauty or what not to get a few like three or four of those I'm talking about the benefit precisely my brow pen I love that pen I think it's a beautiful one I just adore it I would buy it in the shade 4.5 or even shade 5. I would get it either or because it works for me. It's easy to work with, it's buttery, but I don't have any brow pens right now and I since I love to purchase from my own collection, I'm using the Deep Brow today, but that would be a product that if I had to restart my makeup collection, had nothing to shop from my collection, I would buy the Precisely My Brow Pen and that would be my staple brow product. And then to set my brows, this is just crazy that I'm talking about this again in this way. But I was always saying like I love the Laura Mercier brow gel and I do. That I love the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit and I do. I love the brow wax from Anastasia and the brow gel from Anastasia and I do. But I've been just working through my brow gel collection even using Gimme Brow, which I love, and it's not a brow gel, it's a brow fiber product. And then Mr. Brow Groom came back into my life because I had a backup and I said, okay, it's time to pull it back out since I finished my Laura Mercier brow gel. This is way better than all of the rest. I just know it. It will hold your brows like nothing else. I can feel it. If I touch my brows, they feel, if I touch them, like I can feel that they are set with brow gel. But it's not like right now that I'm moving my face. I don't feel them being crunchy or stuck together or just uncomfortable on my skin. When people say I don't want crunchy brows, I just don't want my brows to move. And the Givenchy Brow Room will do that for me. And this, if I use it every single day, it will last me either a year or uh, 8 to 10 months. So for me, it's worth it. If it, It's worth the price. Um, I've heard people say that they don't buy, most specifically, I've heard Hannah Louise Boston, for example, say that she goes through brow gel like in a month or a month and a half. I don't know how. I truly don't know how. Maybe I don't have enough brow hairs. But for me, a brow gel will last me either a year or eight months to a year. So yeah, the brow groom is just perfect. And if you want something that will hold your brows like nothing else, not the brow freeze, not anything, the Givenchy Mr. Brow Groom has been the most beautiful product for me. And I love the brush, I love everything about it. After that, I have to go in with eyes. And I never use eye primer. So primers for me on this video are a no-go. And this palette shocked me because I always talk about the Natasha Denona shadows, but I, if I had to choose one eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona, I know my favorite, but I know it would be lacking in a few ways, right? So it wouldn't be my only palette, everyday palette, not even the Viva or the Glam or the Bronze, and I would be happy with it. I would have to choose something like the Soft Glam type of vibe and soft glam it still has two shades that i wouldn't use like the tempera shade and the i don't know the rosy the mauvey one that comes underneath a tempera shade even the mulberry shade they are shades that i wouldn't use they have a gold one that i wouldn't use either so i was thinking like i wouldn't use about five shades or four shades of a 14 pan palette so i need to find another one natasha denona like i said none of them came to mind as a one-stop shop type of palette and they're super pricey so i went in for this one not the best formula that i've tried i i would be lacking a black but i'm gonna talk about it. This is the Too Faced Born This Way, the natural nudes, and you will see me applying this on my eyes today. These I have to make work with the shimmers mostly with um, the all-nighter or just wetting my brush to make them look better, use my finger, but I would use every single shade on this palette for sure everything the bone color then the brown i would use i would use it for a one eyeshadow look i would only need a black and for the black i would go for my eyeliner my black eyeliner that is super smudgy and beautiful so 
yeah, I can create even a smoky brown eye look, a light one. I can do a cut crease. I can just go for a romantic vibe, a golden bronzy vibe. This color scheme, it's one of the reasons why I'm just holding on to purchasing the Patrick Ta, even if they're different. These, um, in a way, I see it and it reminds me of that. So I could basically shop my stash for this one as a dupe or as a, something that will make me feel less anxious to purchase that one. If you want to see a video on that, I've been just thinking about that, the products that I would choose instead of the ones that I want to purchase. So that would be a cool video to film for you guys if you would if you would like to see it. But yeah, this palette has everything except for a black that I would want for every day. And I don't mind being boring or using browns or using taupes or using uh, pinks and neutrals every day. That's just the way I am. I just love it. I love that you can do this with the palette without any hassle. That it has a mirror, cardboard, that it's basically small and that it's compact and it doesn't weigh that much. So I think it's a great palette overall. Need some work, need some eyeshadows to be wet to work better. Need You need your finger to work with it. Yeah, but who cares? I sometimes use my finger or I wet my eyeshadows when using Natasha Denona and those are my favorite formula. So I would love that palette for every day and I know I would hit pan in it. Oh my goodness, like a crazy person. Then for my eyeliner, I didn't even have to think about it. I wouldn't buy brown, nude, even though I love those. I would always have to have a black eyeliner and I would buy the Scandalized by Rimmel. This is my favorite. I even have it in my backup drawer even though I started using it because I want to finish all of the ones that I have and just focus on this one. It's funny because I have a shopping list for when I go to the US and I have buy at least six of these ones because I go through them like crazy, but I adore them. There's nothing like them. I even created my wing with them so I wouldn't need a felt tip or a brush tip, a pen type of black liner. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. These are about, depending on where you get them, three to four dollars, sometimes six, but I mostly get them for $3.50 and then I, I use coupons on them or whatnot. You can find them on Amazon as well. I will leave them, I think, on Target as well, link below or Walmart, so that you can go ahead and purchase them. But I just adore it. And be sure to grab the 001 black because there's one that has shimmer and I prefer the one that it's completely matte and black. And this one will go on your waterline. It will never smudge or budge. It will just stay there. It will be super black, so buttery. Can't recommend this enough. For my mascara, the one that I would purchase if I didn't have any mascaras on my backup drawer would be the Lash Freak. So I don't think I uh, did a clip applying my mascara, but if I did, it was using the Monsieur Big. This surprised me. So I'm thinking that when I finish the mascaras that I have, I would purchase the full size of this one. And I have a list of about five mascaras that I would have in my collection interchangeably that I love, adore. And they're mostly volumizing mascaras. But this one, this is the first time that I'm using it. Surprised me a ton. Love it a ton. It's a great one. It doesn't surprise me that much because Lancome makes amazing mascaras. But I wasn't expecting the type of volume that it gave when I basically opened it yesterday. But yeah, the last freak from Urban Decay was just a favorite. I didn't even want to throw it away. I knew it was already done and gone and I was just trying to make it work for me because it makes my lashes look like I have fake lashes all the time. I don't need a primer. It's just perfect. So, so beautiful. And I would truly invest in a high-end mascara because I know I've used mascaras from the drugstore that are good, but they last one month or and they start drying out or they smudge on me or they're not volumizing enough for a person that doesn't wear falsies because I don't wear falsies. So I would really invest in one of the loved ones that I have and the Urban Decay Lash Freak would be that choice for me. Then I would set my makeup with the Urban Decay All Nighter. I would purchase a big bottle and if it was end of the year I would purchase the two bottles that come for the 
BIB cell. I've been going through a phase of again using setting spray and the setting spray that I always love is the All Nighter or the Scandinavia Bridal Makeup Setting Spray. I have a big bottle of this one but I refilled the small one just to keep it on my desk and I have another small one on my makeup artistry kit and I just love this. I just sometimes I think that setting spray doesn't work but trust me all nighter it just it works it works it will set your makeup I drench my face in it on the demo so you will see me applying it and my makeup will hold even more than powder the all nighter setting spray will hold my oils more than anything I've ever tried and it will hold my makeup more throughout the day even wearing a mask so it's that good then this one I opened today I shouldn't have but I opened it this is the makeup forever aqua lip liner in the shade 3c I had it as a backup for ages because I thought they were discontinuing it and then um, I was using a few other lip liners that I need to finish I don't love them I want to go back to this one and this can be a staple I want it in the shade 1c 2c and 3c and I would be happy, but my favorite shade is the shade 3C. It makes my lips look so big and beautiful. It's creamy when you're applying it, but when it's set, it sets. If you want to use it as a lipstick, you can. The uh, liner will last you forever because it's pigmented enough that you don't have to sharpen it every time you use it. For my lipstick, this one, if I had to choose a nude, I wouldn't choose a liquid lipstick. Um, I would choose a MAC Bullet Lipstick. And I have a few that I love, Jash, Honey Love, I also love Velvet Teddy, but mostly Jash and Honey Love, and half and half also. But this one, this has been just a product that I didn't know I love so much, but I keep going to it, I keep going to it, I keep reaching out for it. And this is MAC Satin Finish in the shade Cherish, and you can see me wearing it today it's just a beautiful lipstick and that's all I have left from it I know that when I go to the US I want to repurchase a few of my MAC favorite lipsticks because since I was creating my makeup artistry kit I sacrificed myself and placed my favorite MAC lipsticks on the Vuset palette because I use them so much on brides and on my clients and most of my clients are bridal clients or clients that want a natural lip but Cherish from MAC is just beautiful the satin finish of it is just stunning because it doesn't make your lips feel dried out and even if I build it throughout the day it looks so pretty and for my skin tone it's a great great lipstick so that's it you guys I, I know that this is gonna be a long video but I hope you guys enjoy let me know below what products if you lost your entire collection and you were just creating a new makeup bag you would choose for yourself because I know I know I love these and I know I would be able to just use them every day for months and months and months and I would be happy with them it's just that you know we're makeup addicts so we're always looking for the next best thing or just to purchase something new or to try something new but this would work in the long term for me I know it if you watch the entire video as an emoji today let's just leave something related to mister because of the mister brow groom and as a rediscovered true love don't forget to subscribe before you go Remember to leave anything in the comments that you want to see next uh, on top of the emoji if you watch the entire video. I love you and I guess I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.